Here is a simple list of some of the tools I will need. We'll start this procedure by creating a program in AlphaCam. Draw a 24 inch by 24 inch rectangle. And now we can move the rectangle so the bottom left corner is at X2, Y2. You can insert your table to verify the location. The bottom and left edge should be exactly two inches in. Then apply toolpaths as normal. Then delete the toolpaths on the top and right side. We'll only be running the cuts on the left and bottom edge. And finally, we can output the program by choosing Send G-Code as Normal. Save the drawing as prompted. I'm just going to use the name 24 by 24 test and this also becomes the program name. And next we'll go run this program at the machine. Remove the stops and then load the program at the control. Start the program and then stop it when the blade is alongside where one of the physical stops would be. So here we can place the stop back into position so we can measure between the stop and the part side of the blade. You can use a tape measure or a caliper. I'm going to call this 2 and 3 eighths. Both X and Y should be at 2 inches. So we'll have to move the Y blade offset in the negative direction by 3 eighths of an inch. Run the program again and stop when the blade is in front of the other stop. Then again, measure the distance between the part side of the blade and the physical stop. This one measures as it should at two inches. Now that we have our values, we'll go make our adjustments in the controller. Go to the Setup tab and then Advanced. Then type in the password which is Sunrise. You'll find the blade offset under the Work Table Offsets tab. Y is the only axis we'll need to adjust. We'll use the current Y value 10.281 and we'll subtract the 3 8 to get 9.906 which we'll enter in. And we'll click OK to set it as the new offset value. Run the program again as we did before to verify that our adjustment was correct. Repeat this process until you are satisfied with the accuracy between the physical stops and this program's X2Y2. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks.